Wow! Hi! <laughs> and she's actually here in my house. Ganda ng garden. Wow! At may dala-dala ka pang ano. For you or kids. I know. You're also a plantita. <laughs> Balita ko. Yes. Ang ganda-ganda naman ito. So, oh. Lumulubog ako. O, oh, ako rin. Lumulubog. Pareho tayo nakahil sa hardin. <laughs> Pero bagay naman. na bagay. Uy, bagay sa suot mo, ha? Oo oh, nga. <laughs> Namatch ako sa garden. I know that you're a plantita rin, di ba? Ang ganda naman ng ferns. It I looks know. so unique. Ay, alam mo, itong fern na ito, may kamahalan siya ng konti. Pero basta't alaga mo, ang bilis niyang lumago. Ang taba-taba niya. Look at that. And then... Nakapamigay ka na ba? Naku, huwag mo na, ma. Huwag na, ma. Ang dali lang. <laughs> sige, Sina sige. It's called the Peruvian fern. Wow, nice. And tingnan mo ito, nanganganak na rin siya. Yung giant pakpaklawin. Oh, yeah. Oh, We have a lot of that. We have a lot of that. In Lokban, it really just grows. Oh, Kasi umuulan palagi doon. Alam mo, oh. talaga, ha? Yung Casa Esperanza na yan, ha? Naghihintay pa kami ng <laughs> oh, invitasyon, ha? Punda naman kayo. Oo, oh, oh, dahil ako, ano lang, ha? Lalo na ngayon pa summer na. Oo, oh, diba? oh, summer. Mm -hmm. I know. But sa Quezon, Malamig kahit summer? In, umiinit din. Ah, umiinit Pero sa gabi, din. malamig talaga. Talaga? Ang ganda pa rin ni Shasha, no? <laughs> Alam nyo, ang dami naming pag-uusapan. Yeah. Ako. Alam nyo ba, kung hindi pala siya pinanganak sa Amerika, akala ko naman talagang tubong Amerika itong si Shasha. At marami pang iba tungkol sa kanyang um, karera. We're celebrating 40 years! That's right. Oy, palakpaka naman kayo. Thank you! Thank you, guys. In the business and of course, her love life. At ang kanyang mga pinagkakabalahan ngayon. Are you ready? Yes. Handa ka na? Handa na. Okay, doon tayo kasi magnas tayo dito. Oo nga. Halika na. Hindi pa naman ako nag-sunblock. Ang ganda naman ito. Okay. Magbagay siya dyan. And the Divine Diva is in the house! Thank you! Miss Shasha Padilla is celebrating her 40th anniversary in showbiz. That's right. Can you announce mo talaga yung 40th? Oh, naman. Alam mo naman, lahat na ngayon nag-Google. Pwede nang i-Google. 40 years. Ibig sabihin, child star siya noon. I wish. Two years old pa lang siya. Nag-perform ko na. Meron ngang bumati sa akin na happy birthday, Ms. Z. Oo, ganun ba? Sabi ko, I wish 40 ako. Kaya nga. Wow! Pero bago natin pag-usapan ng napakakulay mong uh, karera. Wow! Talagang movies, concerts, and uh, everything else. Alamin muna natin. Alam mo, I don't know where you were born. Hindi ito pinag-uusapan. Pag pinag-uusapan si Shasha Padilla, doon na tayo sa, nasa banda na siya, na, uh, anak siya ni Sunny Padilla, <laughs> di ba? Wala yung una, bakit ang ganda mo? Ano ba yan? I was blessed with good jeans. Good jeans, pero walang dugong international. Meron my mom. Meron siya, of course, very Castila, yung kanyang mother. Ah, okay. Tapos yung dad niya, Spanish, American, German. Oo. Yung papa ko naman, tiga Luciana yung kanyang mom, pero yung dad niya, Castilla din, Mestizo. Oh, ayun naman pala. So lahat, and ngayon ko lang nalaman, may mga kapatid siya. Ngayon ko lang nalaman, how many are you? Anim kami sa pamilya. Wow. Middle child ako, fourth. Middle child, fourth. Wow. So yung middle child, ano ba, totoo ba yun? Kapag ikaw nasa gitna, medyo ang dami mong hugot sa buhay? Hindi, paborito ako nun eh. Totoo ba? Natutuwa sa akin ang papa ko. Tapos, oh. uh, four years kasi bago ako nasundan. So, ako yung matagal-tagal na baby nila. I see. Mm -hmm. Bakit ka favorite? Siguro ikaw kasi yung pinakamaganda sa kanilang lahat. Hindi. Ang chubby ko kasi ng bata ako. Ah, Parang ang kinatutuan oh. ako ng, ng papa ko. Pero, I remember ang kulit ko noon. Oh. And I was all over the place. Sobra-sobra yung energy ko. Totoo. Um, isang trait naman na hindi ko nagustuhan sa sarili ko noon, 
masyado akong shy, clingy ako. I too was painfully shy, pero pareho tayo na sa TV ngayon. Mm -hmm. Ikaw, performer ka pa. Oo, kumbaga na-outgrow mo rin pala yun. Pero hindi ba bata ka pala kumakanta ka na? How, mm -hmm. how old were you nung nagsimula kang nagmag-practice sa band? Basta merong music talaga, alam ko na kagad yung kanta. Siguro, uh, Below five or five years old. Wow! Mm -hmm. Five years old, kumakanta na siya. No wonder, favorite ka. Hello. <laughs> diba? <laughs> Talented My dad na. also likes to sing. Yung dad niya, artista rin dati, mm -mm. right? Actually, he was a good actor. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh. I remember. Yeah, I, I used to watch him. Ang performance talagang nasa dugo mo na. Kasi yung dad mo was an artista. Yes. At saka naalala ko pala nung bata ako, kinukuha ko sa commercials. Oo. Oh, oh. oh, oh. Ah, kaya. So, pag meron kasi akong anami namin kasi kamag-anak sa show business. Kasi sinasabi ko pa nga, ayaw kong mag-artista. Ayaw kong ayaw kong mag-artista noon. Okay. Pero palagi akong nakukuha. Talaga ba? Mm -hmm. So, ano ka ba? Uh, nung bata ka ha? More singer than artista? Yes, yeah, singer. Singer talaga. So, alam natin na chabilita ka nung mm -hmm. maliit ka at mahilig ka talagang kumanta at ikaw ay mula sa pamilya ng mga magaganda at saka mga talented at performer talaga. Ano pa bang hindi natin alam bilang Shasha Padilla na maliit na bata? Uh, kasi may nagtanong sa akin minsan, totoo ba na naglalaro ka doon sa kanal? Sabi ko, yeah. Okay. Without batting an eyelash, it's uh -oh. true. And uh -oh. I had... I, I had so much fun when I was a child Sanyan, because I was a sa San Juan doon ako lumaki. Ayun. And we lived in a small compound uh -oh. kasi napaka-clannish ng aking pamilya. Mm -mm. Yung parents ng father ko doon tumira, meron siya lang lumang bahay sa silong, may ibang nakatira. Then he built a small home, na two bedroom house lang. Okay. Imagine with six kids and, and the couple. Right. Minsan meron pa kaming ano eh, katulong eh, meron pa kaming oh, kasamba. Imagine oh. lahat kami nagkakasya doon. Okay. Lang. Ano naman 'to na balitaan ko nalunod ka sa kanal? Oh, Pwede ka bang teka muna ha? Pwede ka bang malunod sa kanal? Yes, because baha noon, oh, naisip namin ni Gino Padilla. Kasi kalaro ko na? siya eh. Pinsan mo din. Pinsan ko din. <laughs> oh. Na-decide na na namin na magtalon-talon. Kasi meron sa kanal, meron naiiwan na pang lagyan ng halaman na this much. Oh. So, kalon-talon tayo. Wow. Eh, pagtanong ko, I slipped in. And then? I remember just Pabuting floating. Pabuting may water. It was just peaceful I was floating. <laughs> Tsaka malinis-linis pa naman ang kanal nung araw. Tsaka kasya ka. Malinis-linis. Kasya, kasya ako mabata pa ako, malit pa ako nun eh. So I just remember being pulled. Oh And it was my papa pala. Wow. And then, pinasukan niya ako talaga. Talaga? Oo. Oo kasi, naku, Yeah, kanal water lahat yun, hindi ba? Okay. Oh, But I don't remember <laughs> getting sick after naman. Iba okay. pa ang naturalesa natin nun eh. <laughs> Correct. So ikaw ay nalunod sa kanal at ano naman balita ko, umakat ka rin ng mga puno. Puno? Ay, I loved it. I practically lived in an aratilis tree. I loved I love it there. I love aratilis. Kakain akong gano'n, natutulog. Thank God I never fell kasi nakakaidlip ako talaga in oh, between oh, the branches. Oh, 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 oh. Gano'n ako ka-adventurous. Lahat ng fence... Tinatawid ko, bubong. Bubong, inaakyat ko. <laughs> At pag nagtatago ako sa mama ko, pag pinapagalitan ako, oh. hinahanap, sa, sa, sa ang tawag sa akin noon. Oh. Kasi nobody can pronounce Shaja. Okay. But I was always nicknamed as Shaja or Zaza, Z-A-Z-A -Z -A oh. or Z-S-A. Sa, sa. And then I would be laughing okay. quietly. Mm. Kasi nandun lang ako sa bubong. Naririnig ko, hinahanap ako ng nanay ko. <laughs> Superstar studded pala ang pamilya mo. Mm -mm, on okay. both sides. Okay, so sino yung pinaka nakatatandang naalala mo? Na Nakakatanda? Yes. Who is in showbiz? Who was in showbiz? Wala, papa ko lang. Yun uh -oh. nga, yung mga uncle ko. Ganyan. Sani Padilla. Meron ka rin mga singers na... Actually, ako yung, nag, ako yung unang nag-professional nag singer. Okay. But my dad has a beautiful voice. Right. So, kanya, kanya namin nakuha yun. Kasi yung mom niya ang kumakanta daw. Ah. Yung Tagalusiana. Okay, sino pa? Gino Padilla. Si Gino ang kumakanta talaga yung dad niya. Oo. Oh, oh. Nahavate. Ah. But she, he picked up, ano, Padilla. Yung Ay, middle name niya. Oo, oh, oh, kasi buka din ba niyaga eh si mm -hmm. Gino eh, mm -hmm. di ba? And then... Lorna Tolentino and Sa Perez. Sa Perez side naman yan. Yan oh. ang mga kapatid ng mama ko. Ah, yung oh. mom ni Lorna, kapatid ng mom ko. Yung dad naman ni Ami, I ang see. kapatid ng mom So ko. close kayo. Ami, yes. Ami and Lorna are still active, no? Yes. Oh, oh. I'm closest, of course, to the Padillas who lived in our compound, in our small compound in, in San Juan. 
Pero kasi si Lorna, nandadalaw din namin. And I remember nung maliit pa si Ami, tumira din siya sila sa San Juan. So nadadalaw ko din siya. Happy birthday! Enjoy mo ng gusto ang kabataan mo. Oo, no, super. Right, okay. So, bakit ka nag-asawa ng 16? Kasi, naghahanap pala ako ng father figure. Ah. That's why also... Ah, so you also, figured it, At that time, you didn't know that. Yeah. Oo. Oh, oh. But when I was trying to analyze, but nga ba ako nag-asawa? Aside from the fact that hindi ako tinuro ng mother ko ng mga bagay-bagay. Oo, 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 tama. Um, kasi yung father ko noon, tumira na sa Amerika, right? After Thrilla in Manila, he had the opportunity to... to be in Vegas kasi yung mother ni Gino Padilla, siya yung unang nag-migrate dahil baker siya. She had a job there. Unti-unti nagsunuran ng mga kapatid. Ganon sila ka-clanish. Right. Ganon sila ka-close. Sa Amerika. Oo. Kaya so lahat ng Las sa Vegas. Amerika. At sa Las Vegas in particular. Right. Because he was a referee. Yes. Yeah, so it was just, you know, good for his job. And then it became his career. his career in America. Yes. Wow. So, so lahat kami, nung napitesyo na, ako naman at 16, Naiwan dito. Naiwan na, dahil na-in-love na ako at 16. Wow. So, you know. Right. Sabi naman ng tatay ko, puppy love lang yan. But I didn't understand, you know. I uh -oh. was already pregnant. I was also 16 pala when I had her. Right, right, right. How do you become a mom at 16? It's, it was hard, yeah. Talaga? You just like... Pero anong sabi ng mga magulang mo na galit ba sa'yo? Uh, first question nila, kasi I think M, tatlong hari, was, he was so much older than me. He was 16 years older than me. Wow, okay. Parang gano'n, 32 na yata siya. Ang unang question ng nanay ko, wala ba yung asawa? Ano ang hindi mo makakalimutan bilang batang ina? Mahilig talaga ako sa bata ever since, but I didn't even know how to burp a child. Sabi ko, bakit nasusuka na si Karil? Oo. Oh, oh. Kailang, hindi kailangan padidigayin mo. Ay, may mga gano'n. Na, akala ko, alam ko na instinctively, Yun ang hindi ko makalimutan, mm -hmm. how it's like to be a mom. Mm -hmm. Because I took care of mostly all my cousins. Ganun ako kah kahilig sa bata. Then of course, I had to go back to school and then my career happened and it was, it, it became harder. And finally, talagang nag-audition ka na. Hindi ka na talaga mapigilan. Oh. Nag-audition ako for uh, music and magic. Mm. Kasi parang paalis na si Kuno, so oh. kailangan nila ulit ng lead singer for music and magic. Oh, okay. And I auditioned and they looked happy. Kaso, hindi nila ako natawagan dahil nag-disappearing act na daw ako. Bigla ka naglaho and then nanganak. Mm -mm. Tapos, okay. yung tito Bebong Osorio ko, pumunta sa bahay at sinabing, um, sa, naghahanap sila ng, ano, ng babae para sa hotdog. Interesado ka ba? So, nagpaalam ako. Oh. In-encourage naman ako nun. Okay. So, napunta ako sa hot dog. Yung single namin was careful, careful, tsaka a ballad. So, disillusioned naman ako. Hindi ko naman kasi naiintindihan na yung careful, careful na ginamit i Inday Badida. Inday yung Badida. Careful, careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kalala yung maging careful. Yun yun. Yeah. Sabi niya sa akin, um, I think it was Dennis Garcia mm -hmm. of the Garcia Brothers. Siya, kantahin mo na ano, parang si Olive Oil. Huh? <laughs> so parang yung bundo ko. Kasi sy syempre, I was trying so hard to make it nice. And then, uh -oh. hindi ko naiintindihan na, uh, kumbaga, novelty yung kanta. Mm. Ganun pala yun. So sige, de, I still tried my best. And then after that... Um, How do you sing like Olive Oil? Di ba si Olive? Olive Oil! Ganyan, uh, yeah, parang yeah, ganun. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we yeah. careful, careful. Ganyan lang ako. Ah, I see. So, um, oh, pasado naman. <laughs> I know, pero, oh. pero siyempre yung puso ko wala doon. Sabi ko, ano ba nangyayari? Hindi ko naman naiintin na. I was so naive. Bakit ganito? Iba yung expectation ko kasi. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Akala ko recording, may mga gigs na iba, uh, magsishow sa ganito, pero hindi ko alam na pwesto. Hindi ko naiintindihan yung mga bagay na yun. Okay. So, uh, dahil doon, umalis na ako sa kanila. Kasi hindi nga siya in tune with what I thought was gonna happen to my, my career, di ba? Right. So yun na yung banda mo, since then nag-solo ka na. After na nag-solo na ako, tapos, um, ayun, nag-tavern on the square na ako, nag-indisa na ako doon. Ayun, ah, so you started muna with those places. Mm -mm. Kasi yun naman talaga ang uso dati, Oo, di dapat ba? naman talaga, hindi ko rin naiintindihan na parang yan, oh. dyan ka mag-train, dyan ka matututo, oh, 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 oh. to talk to an audience. Gusto ko sa pagkasyay ko, naalala ko, hirap na hirap ako makipag-usap. Oo. Oh. Hirap na hirap. Hindi ko talaga makayanan. Talagang sa sobrang naiiyak na ako, hindi pa pwede kumanta na lang ng kumanta. Kailangan ba ba talaga magsalita? 
Yun, oh. I had to learn all of that. Naku, naaalala ko pa in ABS-CBN. Uh, bigla ako napasok sa uh, isang dressing room. Sabi ko, napakaganda naman ng babae na ito. Do you remember that? I'm sure you don't remember that. Mm -hmm. I was a reporter, newscaster, and napasok ako sa dressing room mo, nagsusuot ka ng stockings. Talaga? Naku, big hair ka noon. Napaganong ka sa akin. Yung first memory mo sa akin. Oo, okay. napaganong ka sa akin. Oo, naka-nylons ka tayo noon eh. Mukhang mag-anghel itong babae na ito. Kaya naman pala, na-inlove sa kanya. Si Dolphy at talagang divine diva. Pag-usapan natin ang tungkol sa paano yung journey to divine diva dumb. Divine Diva Dog. O, oh, diba? Yan na ang susunod. Malapit na ang pagsabog ng upa. Upang protektahan ang nanganganib na buhay. <coughs> Kung wala si Seyon, magiging miserable ang buhay ni Jack B. Seyon. Tapusin na natin ang paghihirap mo. Matindi ang sakripisyo ng mag-ina. Ang pangarap kong pilit mong inagaw, ibalik mo po sa akin. Mysterious Personal Shopper. Monday to Friday, dito sa Net25. Analo tayo pag together. Walang talo pag together. Let's get together. Sa Net25. When we order from online sellers, we just expect to receive our goods in the shortest time possible. However, for those with a business mindset, they are keen to know what's the story behind the delivery of goods and if there are any opportunities to invest. That's exactly what we're in for this episode, knowing the ins and outs of a logistics or courier express service, including the franchise model of this business. We'll find out out more insights from Bex Logistics Solutions Inc's president Marjorie Rubio. There are some cities outskirts no hindi na nakikater talaga ng logistics. Nakita namin na this is a huge market na wala pa rin talagang nagdo-dominate. Open for business with Cesar Vallejos Sunday 9 p.m. Superfans, magingay. Ito po si Felix Apreco ng inyong Davao Occidental Tiger. Kayo po ay nanonood ng Pilipinas Super League. Ito ang liga ko. Hindi na kita maaalagaan pa. Nakasulat sa ilalim nito ang pangalan at address ng tunay mong ama. 
Shasi Demir Gokturk. Ay, oh, oh. Ikaw ba si Demir Gokturk? O bata, tulungan na kita? Kaya ko na po, Demir Gokturk. May di inaasahan nangyari kanina. Nandiyan yung anak mo. Makakalabas ka na dito dahil sa kanya. Wala akong anak. Paano ko makukumbinsi ang kahit sino? Nasisiraan ka na ng ulo! Pakiusap, huwag niyo akong ilayo sa anak mo. Ang anak na naghahanap ng kalinga at ang ama na umiiwas sa responsibilidad. Kizem, isa na namang seryeng magpapatibok ng inyong puso. Soon on Net25. This portion is... Divine Diva. Sino nag-imbento ng Divine Diva? Si Martin Yavera. Ah, si Martin? Kasi nag-concert kami sa Araneta noon. And so he also came up with the title Divine Madness. Siya daw yung mad. Okay. Because he had a show, M-A-D. Right. Martin After right. Dark. Right. Tapos ako yung divine. Because he would always say, your voice is velvet. You know? Right. So I will name you Divine Diva. Tsaka talaga sa generation natin, natin talaga magkakasabay kaming nagsimula, mm -hmm. um, uso talaga yung Diamond Star, yes, Star for title All Seasons, ka. Mm -hmm. Mega Star, iba-ibang star. At least ikaw na, iba ng konti. Ano? So, uso kasi yung Diva term. Right, so, uh, right, right, right. Kailan mo naramdaman na eto na, eto na yung career path ko? Matagal-tagal din kasi nung ginawa ko yung unang uh, album ko sa Gem Recording, which became Telesis, and eventually nabili din niya ng Diva Records. Uh, napakabait nila sa akin kasi they really developed me and honed me. Uh, binigyan nila ako ng si Willie Cruz kasi yung presidente doon, so binigyan niya ako ng uh, mga komposisyon niya. At nahingi ko pa yung, ano, yung kahit na. Kahit na Ay, Lisa! Well, akin na lang yan. Oo. Oh. Hiningi ko talaga. Talaga. Kinulit ko, ulit ko siya talaga. Oo. Oh, oh. So, he decided, he gave in to my request, tapos ginawa niyang kahit na. And for so long, akala ko si Baby Hill pa rin ang sumulat. Okay. Ayun pala siya na yung sumulat. I still have the original paper. It said walang title. Ah. Well. Pero apakaganda. Which became It's one of kahit na? which became kahit na. Ganda naman talaga ng kantang yan. Sobra. Buti no. na lang nang ulit ako. Oh, One diba? of your favorites up to now. Yes. Kasi yung message niya hindi mawawala eh. Talaga? Mm -mm. Minamanage naman ako na ni Sandra Chavez. Sinasabi talaga sa akin ni Boss Vic, Pop, feeling ko ang galing-galing ko na on stage. Sabi niya sa akin, konti pa. Konti pa. Pinupush niya ako talaga, konti pa. <laughs> Totoo. And I felt so frustrated. I'm like, what else do I do? Oo. So, parang konti pa. Malapit ka na. Okay. Magpipig na, eh, yung ganun. Tapos then, of course, uh, I, I, I knew that it was my time because when I did my first Araneto Coliseum, it sold out. Wow! Na. Oh, yun na yun. Yun na yun. yun, na, yun. Na, na, narating ko na yun. Maybe 84 or 85. Talaga? Yeah. So memorable sa yung first Araneta mo? Oh, very much. Talaga. Tsaka ano eh, sabi ko, si Louis Ocampo din ang MD ko noon. Louis, kasi meron akong riser na ganun na maalog pa. Dahil siyempre, hindi pa tayo masyadong technical. Idea lang oh. ni Mr. M yun. Siya yung director ko. Bago ako umakit, Louie, napimbingi na. I can't hear anything. Ninenerbius ka lang. <laughs> okay lang yan. Okay lang yan. Oh. Tapos, I had this really heavy winter coat na siyempre, mga hiram lang sa mga designer yung mga outfit. Uy, isa pa yun, ha? Hiram. Oh, oh. Ang ganda rin ang kanta mo. <laughs> Talaga nagtuloy-tuloy na since then. Talaga. After, yeah. It was all hard work. And I was lucky in the sense that si Sandra Chavez talaga, she pushed me so much uh, na gumawa ng mga one concert after the next. Divine Diva na. Divine Diva. Binasbasan ka na ni Martin Yavera niyan. 
Pero bago yung act, bago yung singing, nag-acting ka ba muna? Or it came after the singing? Um, nung, nung bata ako, ginawa din akong extra sa, or bit player sa isang pelikula. Hindi, hindi, hindi pa nga naiintindihan ako anong ginagawa ko eh. Oo. Bib, sasabihin lang ng director sa akin na ito, gawin mo ganyan. Kasama ko another pala, Uncle Amado Cortez. Ay, It's also Dios. a Padilla, by oh, the way. Oh, oh, oh. So, yung eksena lang parang minor, ako yung ano niya. Ako yung naging girlfriend niya, uncle ko siya, pero you know. Tapos nagko-commercials din ako. Ayo. So, ayun, uh, pelikula naman, kasi gusto ko talagang pag sinabi siya siya Padilla, singer, una ang ma maaalala nila. Kaya nag-concentrate talaga ako for several years sa singing para yung pangalan ko, alam na singer na. Eh, ganun naman ang Singer, talaga. actress. Yes, ganyan. yes. Mm -hmm. So, the first, when did you, kailan yung unang beses na, okay, acting naman, pelikula naman, Um, I think it was Loving Lee Helen. Yung sila yung unang kumuha sa akin. Pelikula And, or TV? Uh, TV, TV. It was like, I think Sunday show. Okay. For an hour. Yes, or, yes, oh, yes. Oo, oh, ganyan. Lingo Wait, si lang naman. Oo, oh, hindi pa ako marunong umiyak or anything. Mag-dialogue ka lang. Simple lang naman. Oo. Oh, oh. Okay. And enjoy naman. Oo, oh, enjoy naman. Ano yun pala, nai-enjoy ko din. Mm -hmm. uh, nagustuhan ko yung mga roles kasi parang, oh, I can be another person pala even for a while. So, sa pelikula mo ba nakilala si Dolphy? Actually, no. Tinawagan ah. nila ako noon uh, para isama sa tour nila sa US. Sinabi niya, crush niya ako. Okay. Pero sabi ko, eh, lovey, crush mo naman yata ang buong bayan. <laughs> sabi niya, hoy, pang maganda lang ako. Wow. Ah. Wow, wow. Okay. okay. O, so, ano na nangyari pagkatapos na? Uh, Nagpelikula kami, mga anak ni Pacifica Falaifai. Hi! Hi! Hi, alika na! Maligo ka na! He was, of course, very kind. He was such a gentleman. Nagdadibigyan ka niya. And then, it was funny because he would go to the set. Dinala niya kami sa Baguio. He loves to shoot there because of the weather and because, of course, everybody would be there. Mas madaling ishoot. Sumunod na pelikula namin together sa Seiko Films. Hi, Demi! Kasi ako nga magdadala nito. Naku, hindi bali na lang. Para ito lang naman dala kong gamit eh. Para yun lang naman. Ayaw niyo pa akong paunla ka naman. Pwede, sige eh. Medyo suplada pa rin ako sa kanya noon, but we were getting to know each other better already. Okay, getting to know each other. O kailan nang de-develop na iinip na ako? I think yun, after that film, yeah. Oo. So ang panligaw ni Dolphy sa'yo, and say mata? Cheap, ha? Yun lang yung opening niya, hindi ba? Ah, opening, okay. Oo, baka tapos nung bibigyan ka na ng diamond ring, sabi ko, ano ito, bakit? Okay. So weird na, medyo nangyayari. But, yeah. Tignan mo na, hindi ka natandaan sa kanya. He's 34 years older than you are. Yeah. Malayo agwat namin eh. Langit siya, ako burak. Hindi problema yun. Totoo? Mm hmm. Talaga? Oo. Oh. Eh, sino ba siya? Eh, eh. Sobrang ganda ng sense of humor niya. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. And then he loved to sing with me. He loved singing eh. Mm -hmm. Mahilig siya kumanta. Oh, okay. And I knew Pinaharana a lot of... Pinaharana ka ni Dolphy? Kumakanta kami pareho. Ah. Oo. I, we found ourselves singing together. Talaga. But of course, I would sing the old song. So, may theme song kayo? Oo. Ano? Meron talaga? Yeah. Ano? Uh, memorable sa amin. Actually, hindi pa kami noon. Uh, mga anak ni Pacifica Falaifai, bumaba ako sa painting. Ang ganda ng effects. Tapos, kumakanta ako ng if. Oh. Tapos, syempre, when, when it became us, we were together. Maganda kasi yung linya na, If a man could be two places at one time, I'll be with you. Tomorrow and today. Beside you all the way. So I think that's eternal. Wow. So you mean, nung na-inlove ka sa kanya? Hindi ka! Hindi ka tayo! Ayan na. Ayan na. Love mo talaga siya, 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 no? Oo, nilove mo talaga si Dolph. When I said eternal, just eternal. Oo, no? And when you fell in love with him, you really already knew na forever yun? No, because we also had a rough patch. We we went through so much also in the 23 years that we were together. Right. Napakarami namin pinagdaanan. But you know, um, I don't know. Then you realize, oh wow, wow this, this is such true love. Uh, of course, I realized it towards the end. My, our last two years together when he was really ill, he, he na kinausap na namin yung mga anak niya kasi sinabihan na kami ng doktor na stage 4 na siya sa kanyang COPD. May stages pala yun. So, end stage na yun. But towards the end stage, kailangan niya na ng oxygen. Siguro na-witness na, na yun, di ba? Na 
palagi na siyang naka-oxygen. Before the end stages, what to you are the most glorious moments of your relationship with him? Oh, the first few years that we were together and we were planning uh, our family, we had Zia, well, Nicole first. We adopted Nicole and then Zia came and uh, trying simple, a simpler life with him. Oh, and he loved to go abroad. Pagka nasa stress siya, Hong Kong na kami, ginagawa lang niyang, you know, pinaka kiapo yung Hong Kong. Oh, oh, oh. Eh, kasabihan tayong ganun, nagagawin niyang kiapo kasi gusto, gusto niya sa Hong Kong dahil matakaw din siya. Oh, oh. Mahilig kumain. Mahilig kumain. Oh, okay. Napakahilig sa pagkain. Mm -hmm. So, yun lang, konting shopping, tapos kain ang kain. I remember distinctly, one day, mm -hmm. lahat ng tao pinag-uusapan, ang payat ni Shasha. Mm -hmm. Talagang bumalik ka dun sa... Yun naman kasi, was brought about by depression. I didn't even know what was happening to me. Oh. That was the time I thought we could get married, but then... Let's talk a little about that. Kasi maraming babae dumadaan sa ganyan. Mm -mm. No? And hindi nila alam na depression pala yun. Mm -mm. Ikaw alam mo, depression. Noong una, hindi ko rin naiintindihan kung ano nangyayari. Mm -hmm. But then, of course, I realized what, what I went through, yung pinagdaanan ko, Uh, kaya yun, depression talaga. Tapos nagbasa, nagbasa ako ng mga libro, ng mga articles kung anong pwedeng gawin. So self-help ka? Yes. Oo. Oh, you pulled yourself out of it? Yes, I did. Wow. Because oh. I didn't even have a therapist. Of oh. course, ngayon, i-advise mo, mag-therapy ka. Oh. Oh. You need, you know, you need, you need to take better care of your mental health. Ngayon, naintindihan na natin yun eh. Correct, Dahil correct. Sa pinagdaanan natin, ano, correct, diba? Correct, correct, Pandemia. And... Noong may sakit na talaga si Dolphy, anong pinanghawakan mo to survive that? Hindi madali ang mawala ng partner. Mm -mm. And a partner like him, such, uh, so bigger than life. Yeah, I, I realized kasi during the beginning of our relationship, I only prayed sa God, God, kahit 10 years lang ang ibigay mo sa akin with him, I would be very, very happy. But he gave me more. Mm -hmm. So it was actually tanggap ko naman yun from the beginning because of our age difference. Alam ko talaga dadating yung panahon na yun. How old was he? Uh, he was 82. 82. Mm -hmm. But aside from that is the estate planning for Dolphy. Di ba magkaka-Dolphy Museum? Yes. Oh, right. oh. Ang nagpaplano niyan, siyempre si Eric. Right. Eric Kizon. But we have so many plans and we already filmed something. Kasi nag-hit yung aming Dolphyville in Batangas. Mm -hmm. Dati pa niyang lupa kasi yun na uh, uh, manggahan. Na hindi naman kami nakaka-receive ng mga mangga. Pero you know, it, it was just there. And um, may nakausap kasi si Eric na nag-offer na uh, i-develop. It's, it's really very nice. Kasi ang ganda ng lugar. Right. Napakaganda niya. And uh -oh. nagkaroon na kami ng phase 2 and phase 3. Wow. Uh Oo. -oh. Kasi maliliit yung lupa. Everybody can own And right now, we're going to be developing a parang hotel where his museum is going to be. That's a wonderful life. Yes. At least, like, constant gardening, right? Mm -hmm. Literally and figuratively. Na, hindi ka nawawala ng project? Ha? Sana, huwag naman ako wala ng project. Oh, 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 Pero namimili na din ako kasi napapagod na ako talaga. Oo. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh. But I mean, uh, in your own time, there's always something to develop in in the province yes. or in, in your your resort, di ba? And as a mom, how involved are you with your kids? Paki alamera ka bang nanay? Um, not so much. Uh -oh. I really respect their um, decision and you know free will. Ganyan. Pero alam naman nila na nandito lang ako para gumabay sa kanila. Padali okay. naman akong kausap. Yes. So I mean, as a mother, ano ba ang mga You think your headline, your headline words of wisdom to your kids. Um, just to be fair to people and to be kind. Ganon lang naman talaga yung gusto namin um, as parents, kami ni Dolphy. And um, si Karil naman, sa dad niya, was always there for, for her. Kasi ako, I was the busier one during that time. Uh, my ex-husband had naman a, a more nine to five kind of a job. So siya talaga, he was a good father. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, you had to cope with the loss your own way, mm -mm. right? Ano yung pinaka, get, got, you just got busier? No, actually, I also got fat. You got fat? <laughs> I got fat. Totoo? Because, yeah, the last two years, I was just sabi ko, kasi napanood ko lang yung I do be do be do recent. It's like, ba't ang taba ako dyan 2012? Ano pa uh -oh. nangyayari nun? Uh -oh. I think I just started to eat and eat. 
that extreme so when you would know na may problema ako pag pumapayat ako. So I went the other way. I started to love food and just eat eat okay. away. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Pero uh, pumayat ka ulit. Uh -oh. Naging sexy ka uh -oh. na ulit. Uh -oh. Eh, uh -oh. Siyempre, kasi then, you know, Conrad came into my life. But before that, I said, no, I, I really want to shape up already. Right. Mm -mm. Ayun! Ako, si Conrad na. Ito na ang uh, usapang pag-ibig. Yung current na to, ah, current. Mm -mm. Okay, so, kaya huwag muna kayo nga alis. Hello, mga suki! Year two na nga ng paborito nating morning habit. ang ASPN. Kaya naman asahan ng double up the good vibes. My partner in crime. Ilang guests natin? 100? 102. Or 3. Tumpak ka dyan. Oo, tumpak ka dyan. Mas pinalawak na pagbabalita at mas mainit na talakayan. Ano na po ang nangyari these past decades? Was there a way for you to verify? Kasama pa rin ang smart at pretty nanays ng ASPN. Ali Soto at Pot P. Daza. Dito lamang sa Ano sa Palagay Nyo? Lunas hanggang Biyernes, 8am to 10am. Dito lang sa Net25. Panalo tayo pag together, walang talo pag together, let's let's together. Sa Net25. Tama na, may nanalo na. Uwiyan na. Cajun Seafood! signal to the world that we are open for business. Open for business with Cesar Vallejos. Every Sunday, 9 p.m. siya noon. Pinagchichismisan pa namin yung dati. Biglang nasa Manila Pen Lobby kami. Kami mga grupo. And lo and behold, nandun si Shasha kasama ang kanyang boyfriend. Talaga? Yes, oh, I remember. Okay. Nakasabit ka pa sa kanyang leeg at sabi mo sa kanya, really? my knight in shining armor. Oh, oh you don't remember. I don't remember. Okay. Nakataas pa ang Paamong ganyan siya. Ah, siya. jokingly, okay. Oo, oh, oh. <laughs> So, uh, this is now the architect Conrad. Long now, ayan, mm -hmm. si Conrad. Paano ka na in love ulit? Um, actually, wala naman akong plano ma-in love. Oh. Kaya tumawag si Sharon, Coneta. Mm -hmm. Sabi niya, Shing, are you open to dating? Sabi ko, kasi two years na rin nun, sabi ko, yeah, I thought about it. And advice nga sa akin ni Chrissy, Aquino, tatanggalin ko yung mga gamit para daw to, you know, parang invite somebody else in my life. So, nag na ako mag-storage ng mga gamit. Kasi ang daming sa 
parang attic namin, nandun pa lahat ng damit niya, yung mga gamit niya. So, unti-unti na ako nagligpit. And true enough, he came. Oh, wow. Oo. Oh. Tapos sabi ko, yes. Sabi ko, I want to give it a try. And I did. And our first date, na sira yung ipin ko. No oh. joke, here. Oh. Sabi ko, tutuloy ko pa ba itong date na to? First blind date. And my first blind date ever. Si Conrad na yon? Yeah, blind date siya. Sabi ko, <laughs> oh, oh. the first guy that I dated, oh. no, after. So of I course, said, tinignan mo ang picture niya. Oo, oh, tinignan ko naman oh, talaga. Okay. Ginugo ko. Sabi ko, oh, cute naman siya, di ba? Mm -hmm. Nang sa kanyang Seda Hotel. Oh. Yeah, oo. Oh. Uh, tapos, nag-date kami. Sabi ko, huwag na lang ako mag-smile. Saka mag-uupo ako ng banda dito siya para hindi niya makita na... <laughs> Ang hirap yata, no? May yung ipin ko. Yeah, parang ma-back out pa ako sa date, di ba? Oh, oh, oh. No sparks. None. Kaya ko, parang, yeah, he was just like, he can be my friend, you know. But he was funny, he was nice. And uh, madali siyang magaan sa loob naman. And so we parted ways after that. And then, later on, sinabi sa akin ni Conrad, you didn't even look back. Sabi ko, why would I look back? <laughs> wala nga sparks eh. <laughs> so, I don't know. Hinamin mo sa kanya na walang yeah, sparks? Yeah, wala talaga. Oh. Even told Sharon, sabi niyo, so how was it? Mm -hmm. Sabi niya ganun. Sabi ko, no sparks eh. Sinabi mo? Sinabi ko talaga, no sparks. Eh, siya, anong sabi niya? Um, uh, oh, ganun ba, Shing? And then I don't know what happened next. Parang we... We saw each other again and gave it a try. And, you know, then we clicked. Ayaw. I really had, had to give it more time pala. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, ah, parang it took one date and another yeah, one, uh -oh. et cetera, et cetera. What keeps it going? What is it about Conrad that keeps it going for you and him? Kasi yung sa amin niya, I would tell people, it's a mature kind of love already. Uh -oh. You know, we're at, uh, he's nine years my senior also. So parang sabi ko, yung hindi na kami yung patweet times na, oh, I'm so in love, I'm just like uh -oh. waiting. Parang ako, I've, I've gone past that already. Uh -oh. uh, and... I was the one with the rules pa sabi ko sa kanya, Conrad, pag nasa taping ako, shooting, walang tawagan ha. I'm okay. busy. Means to say, I'm doing, I'm working. Right. Ako pinag sa set ng oh, rules oh, na gano'n. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'll call you 12 noon, and then I'll call you 7 p.m., yun na yun. Okay, and then oh, I'm go oh. going home. Ganun lang yun. Right. And we have kept that distance. Ah. I say, I feel that you need that, I you know, you know, you, time space. for yourself um, and space. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Totoo mm -hmm. yan, ah. Totoo mm -hmm. yan sa mga mature loves. Yes. And, uh -oh. and then, of course, we would plan our retirement. We would plan what to do. That's why, you know, uh, yung salokban came about because yung artist ganyan, di ba, pag napapagod, right. ay, gusto ko nalang mag-farm. Yan ang mga oh. dialogue natin, eh. Gusto ko nalang na simpleng buhay, ganyan-ganyan. Uh -oh. Pero yun pala yung pasimpleng buhay, mas pagarbo pa dahil mas lumaki yung maintenance mo. Hindi <laughs> mo naman naiintindihan masyado, di ba? So, ayun. That's why, and we love to travel. Oh, good night. <laughs> Sabi ko, Conrad, ayoko na masyado ng mga material. What's another bag for me? What's another whatever, jewelry or whatever? I have enough. Mm -hmm. If I don't need it, na, na differentiate mo na yung need from want. Ay, ganun yes. ka na. Uh -oh. And sabi ko, I just want more memories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we were in tune with that. And I've actually never traveled with anyone as much as I have with him. Talaga? And he loves to walk. He's a very active person. That's great. That yes. means healthy kayo. Yes, and we play badminton every morning. I already played one game. This guy. We wake up at 6, our alarm set at 6 a.m. And then by 7, we're playing 8. And then he's at work na. Shasha, kaya mo yun? Yes. Badminton araw-araw. But sometimes I have naps. <laughs> so yung perception ng pag-ibig sa'yo, papano na siya ngayon? What, what to you is love? Um, love is... Being somebody that you're very, very comfortable with. Mm. You know, ganun na yung konsepto ko ng, ng pagmamahal. Somebody that you plan your, your day with or your years with. Mm -mm. Especially your, ano, your uh, retirement years. Mm -hmm. yung mga, kasi syempre, nandodun na ako eh. So paano yan? Lahat ng mga anak mo wala na sa bahay. Mm -mm. Right? Kailan ka daw magiging lola? My daughter Coco, yung middle child ko, ayon niyang, she, she chose not to have children. May mga ano siya, mga fur babies. Oo. Oh, oh. Hey, Grammy is here. Wala nang tinawag ko yung sarili kong Grammy. Oh. So now, yung apo namin kay Conrad, Grammy din. And he's Poppy. I mm -hmm. see. Okay. Uh, so, kaya mahilig ka pa rin. Ah, mahilig ka rin sa dog. Kaya mahilig yes. ka rin sa dog. Mm -mm. Hi! Sage, Ginger. Is Sage still a cry-cry baby? Oh, mga 
post mo, ang dami mong dogs. Yes, yeah, so Ang lalaki na mga yes, dogs mo. Yes, malalaki. Hindi ba? <laughs> na nasa farm. Nasa farm. And this farm, this farm, would you say that this farm is your, like, retirement plan? Um, partly, yeah. Uh -oh. We built that, you know, at the time when there was pandemic. Parang, wow, what, what such great timing we had, right, no? Right. But not for business. Uh -oh. Kaya lang naman namin yun in-open for business. Actually, tatlo lang naman yung kwarto nun kasi talagang rest house namin yun. This is so hard to maintain, we thought. Why don't we open it up for, you know, Airbnb or something like that? Kaya, yun lang, nabuhay yung konsepto na yun. Oh, wow. But most of the time, yung gaso, syempre, sa amin rin lang. <laughs> oh, oh. Mm -hmm. I'm sure gusto nila ng tour, and so do I. Gusto ko mag-tour ng Casa Esperanza. Dahil kasi pinag-usapan na natin ang mother's love, new love, old love. Pag-usapan naman natin ang ibang love ni Shashin. This portion is brought to you by Lean and Green, linking to the next gen. Not just your ordinary products and healthy drinks. Kaya naman, visit their website for more details. Leanandgreen.international Saan bang lugar? Masaglahin ang araw ng linggo. <laughs> Kayo'y maaantig. Huwag mo ubusin ang luha mo sa wala dito. Mapapaisip. What are we gonna do? Matatawa. Why so much food? Even no money, no honey, we make utang-utang. Mapapahanga. At mapapainda. Kasama si The King! Ang nag-iisang comedy king, Dolphy! Ano pa nga alam mo? Big po. Big po. Ano mo si Fernando po? Ito, Vic and Joey. Mahirap ikwento, Vicky. Mga abang istorya. At marami pang artista na pinagigiliwan noon magpahanggang ngayon. Malo! 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 Cine Throwback Tuwing linggo, alas 12 ng tanghali sa Net 25 Analo tayo pag together Walang talo pag together Let's get together Sa Net 25 Super fans, magingay Ito po si Felix Apreco ng Inyong Davao Occidental Tiger, kayo po ay nanonood ng Pilipinas Super League. Ito ang liga ko. Nabunyag ang dating kasinungalingan. Pinapeke ito ni Luela. Pero bakit? Karapin mo ko! May kailangan tayong pag-usapan! Mary, nahihibang ka na ba? Miss Mariela, pasensya na talaga. Mary, ano ba? Mary, bakit ka nag-iskandalo dito? Niloko ako ng mama mo. Pineke niya ang DNA result para maniwala ako na nakita ko nang nawawala akong kapatid. Ngunit mas mananaig ba ang kasamaan sa katotohanan? Mag-ihingat ka sa mga gagawin mo. Dahil hindi lang ikaw ang madadamay sa gagawin ko sa'yo. Ang ampon mo rin dyan. Sisirain ko rin siya. Two sisters. When we order from online sellers, we just expect to receive our goods in the shortest time possible. However, for those with a business mindset, they are keen to know what's the story behind the delivery of goods and if there are any opportunities to invest. That's exactly what we're in for this episode, knowing the ins and outs of a logistics or courier express service including the franchise model of this business. We'll find out more insights from Bex Logistics Solutions, Inc.'s president, Marjorie Rubio. There are some cities, outskirts, no? Hindi na nakikater talaga ng logistics. Nakita namin na this is a huge market na wala pa rin talagang nagdo-dominate. 
Open for business with Cesar Vallejos. Sunday, 9 p.m. sa Esperanza sa YouTube. Kasi gusto kong pumunta talaga doon. Pupunta kami doon. Open Dalo to the public, naman. right? Yes, it is. Open to the Oo. public. Sino nakaisip? Na i... Na gumawa ng Casa Esperanza. <laughs> kami dalawa din. Ah, okay. Kanya lang, si Conrad talagang sanay siya sa napakalalaking bahay. Mm -hmm. Kaya medyo, <laughs> medyo lumaki naman siya. Oo. Oh, oh. oh, oh. uh, meron okay. siyang pavilion, meron siyang tatlong kwarto. Supposedly just for us. And then, nung naisip na namin yung maintenance, teka muna, kailangan natin ng tulong. Kaya in-open namin sa public. But most of the time, we just, we also spend for it. Kaming dalawa lang. Hello, my lovies! Welcome to Casa Esperanza. Ito po ay pinangarap namin, Conrad Onglao. Naaalala niyo po ba yung picture na to? Naku, malaki na po ang pinagbago. At ako po ay excited na ipakita sa inyo kung paano nabuo ang Casa Esperanza. Ito po yung pavilion namin. Right now, nandito po siya sa aming living room at nagde-decorate. Yung kitchen din and dining area malapit na rin matapos. But I want to show you the place. Lalo na doon sa mga plantitas and plantitos, magugustuhan niyo yung mga halaman namin dito sa casa. Let's go! Pwede rin pumunta ng pool. <laughs> This is casita number two. This is my favorite casita because it has the view of the pond and the pool. And if you look across, there's the forest garden. is still a secret. <laughs> Let's make ano thick crust pizza. Ano ito? Surprise. Ah, uh, anong lukban? Anong ganisa? Mmm. Wow. Mmm, good. What about it do you like best? Itong Casa Esperanza. Yung, ano, halaman. Green. It's peaceful. You hear the birds in the morning. You get the best sleep there. Kasi marinig mo kuliglig. Ganyan. Ito. Mga ibon, pagising mo. Uh, malamig. Malamig mm. sa lukban. Kung mahili ka sa ulan, palaging umuulan doon. Oo. Oh, oh. um, ang greatest challenge naman din namin yung ulan. Oh. Amag naman ang aming pinakamalaking problema. Lalo na kapag may bagyo, naglilinis talaga kami from top to bottom. Kailangan talaga yung, yung upkeep medyo ma mahirap. Glorious life. No, really, feeling ko, hashtag best life. Ang life mo ngayon. Biro mo, even your relationship is on your terms. <laughs> <laughs> Only diba? that naman. But I'm really oh. very patient, so I'm easy to get. I am the more patient one. I mean, it's the life. Yeah, because I, I know naman Conrad is a lot older than me. Yes. I'm not, sorry. Oh. Nine years. Oh, oh. But you know, he, parang siya, wala na talaga siyang pasyensya. Oh, oh. Ako medyo... Sige, stretch ko pa. Kaya correct, pa, correct, kaya pa naman. Correct, correct, correct. Well, I mean, I think it's a hashtag best life. Mm -hmm. Hashtag ko po yun na sa aking yeah. mga IG post. Um, because uh, you still get to sing and perform. Yes. You still look fabulous. Thank you. Graduate ka ng nanay. I mean, nag-alisa na sila. Sa, Nagkanika nila na sila. Mm -hmm. um, Nagka-apo ka na from, <laughs> from all these, di ba, loves of yours. Mm -mm. And you've loved greatly. Yes. You've loved so greatly, and um, may imprenta ka na sa industriya. And then you build a farm. Sa dami na ng pinagdaanan mo, um, 
up and down, pero siyempre nakikita namin that you're living your best life now. Ano, what are the most important things in life? Ano ba ang pinaka-importante? Uh, making good memories. Mm. More than material wealth. Uh -oh. Siyempre, of course, we say that because we live comfortably, right? But for me talaga, ang pinaka-nagtatatak sa akin more than, you know, what's another bag for me, what's another piece of clothing for me. Um, things maybe to invest better, uh, the youth, of course, is wiser now. They know how to invest. Hindi na enough kasi nag-iipon ka, mag ka. You have to invest wisely. Pwede ka rin matalo, but you learn, you know, you have learnings. Mm -hmm. Hindi ba? Time is so important also. Uh, lalo na ngayon kasi, ay ayoko kasi yung ano eh, yung ano kayong, hindi mo lang ako naisip ng mga anak ko, hindi ako nagdadrama ng ganun. Uh, if they remember me, well and good, you know. I don't expect anything else from them, that they have to take care of me in my old age. Because I'm independent, I can do it. You know? Right, because mm -hmm. you plan with time. Napaka importante yes. nun. Mm -mm. Napaka importante nun. And sa totoo lang, biro mo 40 years, time flies so fast. Yes. At hindi na yan babalik, right? That's true. And what she's done with her time, palakpakan tayo ulit. Thank you. Thank you so much.